Almost a year ago, I started a water tank project, like that one right there, and never did quite finish because I made some mistakes with my hole sizes and had some pretty serious leaks in the system. Well, today I'm going to uh, send you back to my past self from almost a year ago, and you can watch how I installed these tanks while I go down to the creek and start the ram pump. And when I get back, uh, we will see how well the tanks flow down to the garden and what the pressure is. And then at some point down the road, I will replace these tanks with some better uh, fitting parts. So I uh, hope you enjoy last year me. Now that we know the ram pump will bring water up to this height, I've got two 55 gallon rain barrels that I got from my local plumbing store for $12 a piece. They always have really good deals on these. So I'm gonna put these over here on the hill in preparation for watering the garden. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. To make things easier on me, I'm gonna get in here and clip out some of this brush. Some of these wild roses scratch you up pretty good. All right, that should be good enough for now. Make a little clearing in here. Okay, so I want this to be level here. So I need to just pull back some of this dirt to see if I can get a spot where the two barrels will be uh, level together. Okay, let me see how well I'm doing here to get this leveled off. So I've got a two foot level here. Let's see what it's like. So that's surprisingly close from there to there. All right, here's the first barrel. So you can see the white pipe down here. Mm -hmm. I want these two to connect together through that. And so I gotta have these two close enough that I can connect them in between with a union, but I think that's actually going to be too close. I may have to actually move these out a little bit more. Now in order to get the water out of this barrel, I have to have a hole in here. And you've heard me talk about these before, but this is a unisil pipe to tank connector. And uh, of course I'm not paid to say this, but that's an amazing uh, little device there. So the one or the three quarter inch takes a one and a quarter hole saw and you simply just drill a hole in your barrel. Let's put it down here not too far from the bottom. It's thicker than you might think. There we go. All right, let me just toss that hole out of there. Anyway, so make sure the hole is fairly clean from debris. And you simply just stick this into the hole like that. And then take your three quarter inch pipe and just push it in there. Sometimes it is helpful to either put soap on it or at least get it wet when you first start it off. And it's a really tight fit. Because once that thing makes a seal in there, you're not getting water around those edges. Whew. Make a little bit further on it. Okay, so to get these two barrels connected here, I've got a uh, union and one of these uh, adapters here. So I'm just gonna attach this first here with some glue. Okay, 
So now when that cures, I'm gonna attach this union here. And that way we'll be able to connect these two together. Now in order to connect the one and a quarter size, I've got to use a two inch here uh, hole saw. So I'm gonna mark where this needs to go and then start putting the hole in here for this one. This kind of hole saw doesn't really have the, uh, the bit in here that really locks down, so it kind of spins if you go too fast. So I have to go slow if you have this kind. A little bit annoying, but it's going. I have to try and tighten it one more time here. So it turns out my hole saw is two and an eighth made for doorknobs. So there's a little slack in there, but I hope this will still work. So let's see what we get here. I don't know, probably not. There's a lot of slack in there. Nope. Looks like I'll have to go buy me another one of these barrels. That's too bad. Ugh. Too bad. So I was just thinking, instead of buying a new one of these, why don't I just make sure the uh, caps are closed really well, and turn it upside down, and use it this way, and just make that uh, hole an air, like a breathing hole, for when this uh, fills up, because it's gonna have to have one of those anyway. So I might just do that, and then make a new hole after I get the correct size uh, fitting for that. So not exactly ideal, but it does save $12. Okay, so in order to use this, I've got a three quarter inch exit pipe. I figured it would work well for a garden hose. So I'm gonna just put this glue on here. Cap this off. Okay, something a lot like that. And then I've got a union and ball valve here so I can turn on and off the flow from up here if I need to. So I'm gonna attach that whenever that glue's had time to cure. Well, I had to go buy a two inch hole saw and it was not easy to find. Apparently it's not uh, a standard size, but I found one and got this piece connected here. Um, a little bit off my hole drilling, so I had to use a two by four to Kind of pick that up some, but uh, I think it's gonna work all right. So I've got the garden hose hooked up here. Let's go down to the creek and turn on the pump and get some water in here. And we'll uh, flush this and maybe get a pressure to see uh, what we're dealing with down at the garden. So close that up and uh, let's go give this a try. Okay, the pump has been clicking now for about 10 minutes. I've got it here. Let's see what our output is. It's probably somewhere around three to four foot lower than our previous test, so I hear a lot more water flow, actually. Let's see what we're going to get here. Yeah, not bad. That's a good flow. So, I'm going to let that fill this barrel up for a while. And we'll see what kind of... Uh, output we get later on. So it's 12.30. Let me see how long it takes this to fill these two uh, 55 gallons up. Let's see if it's already reached this side yet. No, not yet. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes. I want to see what the progress is here. I'm not seeing any leaks on that one, which is good, or on that one. Let's 
So I'm seeing the level is about here. So that probably is over uh, 25 gallons, I'd say, between the two of them. So nice. Open this and see what we get. Nice. While you've been reliving my past, I've allowed the ram pump to fill these tanks for about four hours. Let me show you the level that it is at at the current moment. Looking in here, doo -doo -doo, right there. So, over uh, three quarters, over half there, and this one, and because this one is lower, it's actually closer to uh, three quarters. Eh. Hose doesn't want to stay in there. So the plan now is to see what kind of pressure I have down at the garden spot. So I've got one of these adapters here to go onto this three quarter inch ball valve. It is definitely below freezing, so things are not moving as quick as I'd like them to, but there's that one. Yeah. Okay, and next I have got a pressure gauge that I'm going to hook up to the same hose but move it down to the garden spot. So let's do that real quick. I have the garden hose hooked up to the bottom now. If there's too much ice in here it may cause an issue so let's see what we get. I hear flow. Bit of a leak there so that'll be an issue but we'll just work around it for now. Okay I'm down here at the garden spot which I calculate to be somewhere around 10 to 12 feet lower than the storage tanks. So I had to improvise a bit, but here is my uh, PSI gauge here. So I've got this side closed, open, open. So it looks like from the way I'm reading this, uh, this PSI goes about uh, 10. So that's not bad. Let's see what it looks like when I open these uh, valves and get the spray out of here. I'm definitely water a garden with that. I like it. So what are my thoughts here on this setup? So far it's good. Definitely not uh, complete, but if I can get 75 gallons in an afternoon in these two barrels here, then I believe I could go up several more feet the hill up here, go up the hill, and uh, gain an extra couple of PSI, which would be nice. So, uh, also I believe that since it's not gotten above 25 degrees all day, there's probably some resistance due to ice inside of this barrel here. Another thought, there are at least three leaks between that one right there that's happening and that one with the duct tape and the orange hose has a leak. So there's probably significant pressure loss in those three to four leaks. So uh, I feel like 10 PSI plus is more than enough to water my garden whenever the time arises. So. In the future, I will be putting the two storage tanks up. I mean, I'm just looking from where they are here, eye level, to up there gains another, you're talking about four or five feet. So pretty significant increase in pressure doing that. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying my past filming. It was nice to look back. Uh, it's cold. I'm going to go inside and enjoy uh, time with the family. So if you uh, would like to, hit that thumbs up button and share the video if you would like. And I will see you next time.